What's up YouTube? TME Doomsday back with another vid. This video is going to focus primarily on how I keep track of my financials through sports card and sports memorabilia, wholesale stuff like that. Uh, I promised you a couple weeks ago. I'm um, sorry I didn't get it sooner. Um, no excuses. Um, we all have a lot going on right now. Life is kind of crazy. Um, I'm going to try to set some kind of schedule. I got a little bit of advice from a friend. They said, you know, try to set a schedule maybe once a week, once a two weeks or something like that. Uh, because I have to go through a lot just to put together a video. I know it doesn't seem like much, uh, but my workspace, again, like I've, I've told you guys before, my workspace gets crazy as I try to keep up with the flow of the grading process. Um, good news is, is that there should be an order here soon. I know I say that often because those stages are so delayed, but there's one that's in quality QA check two, uh, stage seven. So hopefully something will be back soon. Um, I have not looked. It's probably a little one, I think. I don't think it's a big one. Um, primarily what I'm waiting for right now, though, is, is modern. Um, there's so much modern and so much modern backlog that those are the big ones. Those are the ones with the 70 card submissions, 80, 50, whatnot. The, mod, the ultra modern, I was kind of going down on that one, trying to get away from it a little bit. Um, but that's another thing I wanted to point out in this vid is the prices. PSA went up, as we all know. So me showing you how I do my finances will hopefully help you kind of get a hold of that. Um, when it first happened, that, that also delayed the video for about a week because mentally I was so frustrated with the price raises that um, I was like, man, I now I have to brainstorm this and I have to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more picky, but that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to raise those prices so people will stop sending in the garbage, um, the base cards and stuff like that, which I, I totally understand. And hopefully that'll speed up the process a little bit. Um, that would be amazing. Um, but at the same time, it makes us have to be extremely careful about what we grade and examine the cards even like more meticulous than we did before. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, again, like I said, is I'm going to show you how I keep track of my finances. Last year, it got stuck in my head that I was going to make 2020 my bitch. Okay, that's exactly what I said to myself. And that I said that right before the new year. And I had that mind going into 2020. So all the bad stuff that was happening to, to the world and to us as individuals, I just kept reminding myself, I'm making this year my bitch no matter what happens. 2020 is my bitch. So with that being said, we're going to do the same thing this year. We're going to have that same mentality this year. We're going to make 2021 our bitch. And I'm going to try to show you how I do that and how I keep ahead of the curve. And hopefully you could take something away from this and put it towards your process. Any information I'm trying to get out of my head and into yours. Um, that's why I'm doing this. I love helping you guys. Um, so if you can take anything away from this, that'd be awesome. If not, um, maybe next time. Anyways, so first and foremost, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a regular one subject notebook. Okay. Just a regular one from Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever. Um, you might have to go through a couple of them because uh, the lining space and stuff like that. Um, some notebooks are different, but once you find one, just keep going for that. Another thing that helps me is finding a pen that you absolutely love, okay? Um, I've been rocking with the same pens for three, four years now. I love how they write, um, and it's just that that's just one of the things that, that helps me um, be encouraged to keep following through and writing stuff down. I do the same thing with chores lists, things that I have to do, my bills list, my debt list, um, everything. I, I, it's, it's all because I keep organized with a notebook that I like and a pen that I like. Okay. Now this is very, very simplistic, very, very simplistic. I'm going to try to angle it correctly so you guys can see it. This is how I column. Okay. This is how I column uh, my my numbers and keep track of them. Okay, it's just a pen and paper. All right. So over here we have the raw column. All right. Um, every time you buy something that has to do with uh, just raw cards, just regular old raw cards. Okay. This is not collectibles. This is none of that. This is raw. Okay. Um, 
As far as collectibles are concerned, if you have no plan in reselling them, don't even log them into this because this is your um, this is your expense versus what you sold, stuff like that. So if you like an autographed basketball, for example, you can put that in there if you want to, if you plan on selling it later in life. But if you like have zero plans of, don't put it towards your bills. Don't put it towards your your raw and your salt. Now, if you plan on selling it within three years, that's a different story because you plan on making money. So go ahead and put it in there. Okay. So this is my raw expense. All right. And then the next column over here, this is this is where it starts. And then this is how when I add on to it. All right. So this is the grading. This is what I spend on grading. Every time I pay uh, uh, the grader, um, I put it here and I log it down and then I add it um, after this fills up. This column right here, the SH, that's for shipping. Okay. This adds up really fast. What I do is I use pirateship.com for my labels. And they send me an email every time <clears throat> I print a label. So what I'll do is because this column... If you were to go like $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, this thing gets filled up really fast. So what I do is I, I don't open those emails and then I'll add them up after like two days and then I'll come up with 2051, um, that was one I think, 835, that was probably three packages, uh, you know what I mean, stuff like that, okay? SU stands for supplies, okay? This would be card savers, um, printing paper, ink, anything that has to do with your purchases for your hobby, okay? Um, top loader sleeves, team bags, envelopes, pens, notebooks, anything like that, put it in that column, okay? Right here is WS stands for wholesale, okay? So I buy wholesale products uh, that have to do with selling, not necessarily basketball, but it has to do with going towards, whoops, sorry about that, going towards uh, this, sold and all that stuff. So I add that in there. I sell stuff like sticker lots, keychains. I even sell socks, ladies and gents, okay? So anything that I buy wholesale, I put it in that column, okay? And obviously, this is the sold column. Um, anytime I make sales, I end up adding them here. And then what I do is I come down here and I get totals. Like if I want to add all that up, I get my total right there. And then as soon as I'm done for that day, I'll put the date on there to keep track, okay? Um, I go through... I go through it because because these notebooks get beat up pretty quick because I bring these everywhere with me. I bring it to work um, so I don't forget anything. Like if I'm at work and I make a bunch of purchases or whatever, I still want to be able to keep track of everything. Um, every penny that goes in and out because I want to make sure that I'm making money at the end of the day. Okay, it's all about... I mean, like I said before... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, somebody said one day you spend more than you make and it kind of upset me a little bit because obviously we know what we're doing, uh, but there was no way to prove it. So I started writing it down and when I started writing it down, it lit a fire under my ass and I just was like, you know what? I can do this. Once I started seeing like numbers for like three months growth, I was like, wow, I it, like I'm looking at this and I'm like, I can double that. I can triple that. And it, get, it gave me that, that mentality. And by the end of the year, I was like, I'm going to make 2020 my bitch. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. All right. So if, if any of that will help you, that's how I keep track. If any of that helps you, um, go ahead and try it out. Um, start keeping track. It doesn't matter when you start. You can start right now today. If you want to just write the stuff down so that you make sure that you're not spending more than you make. Okay. And you can bring that to your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever. And be like, look, this is what's going on right here. I can make some money doing this. And like I said, they raise the prices in PSA. So it's going to be a little bit harder. So you got to tighten down and figure out what's going to be good for you. What's going to make you a little bit of money. Um, and you take that money and you put it back into it. It's all about growth. 
okay last year i subbed every single month so in hopes that it'll be consistent this year but it hasn't been so far um i've gotten a couple back um so but we'll see we'll see i mean they got to come back at some point right um another thing i wanted to, to show you guys real quick um i keep this in front of my desk okay you are i, I learned this from patrick bet david okay you are 10 doubles away from a million dollars okay you double your money every year you're 10 doubles away from a million dollars okay let's say you make two thousand the next year you, you want to make four thousand you reinvest eight thousand okay and in 10 years you can have that million dollars if you really want to if you really stay focused you can gross that and that's kind of where my mind is at um i'm i'm focused on doing more and being better every single year and then maybe something will happen Okay, so keep that in mind. You're 10 doubles away from a million dollars. Um, you can go ahead and screenshot that if you want. You can write that down. That'll help you too. All right, so that's it. That's how I keep track of my stuff. Um, like I said before, I want to get into uh, like maybe a schedule or a routine. This is something that I wanted to kind of do for you guys. This is NBA Hoops uh, premium stock set. Okay. I when these first came out, they were going for 250, then went up to 300. I got one for 250, then I got two for 300. They went all the way up to 350. Now they're back down to 250. Okay, there's five pulsar prisms in here, and I think I want to open my second one, and then kind of go through and show you guys what's in here, um, what kind of value you can get from it. Um, the first one, I I was really really happy with. There's like doubles of every rookie almost, uh, not almost every rookie. <coughs> Lots of awesome pulsars of like Larry Bird, stuff like that. Um, what I was not happy with was because I think they're mass produced, the quality wasn't too great. The centering was perfect, but if you look real close, there's small divots, there's print lines, stuff like that. So not every card is perfect, obviously, but it for me, I think it's going to turn out to be a good investment, a $250 investment plus grading costs, which is another maybe $300, let's say. There's probably a good $1,200 in there, I think. So we'll open that a little bit later, uh, maybe in a week, or maybe I'll do it right now and then post it in a week. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, that's it. Thank you for joining me. I hope that information will be able to help you guys. Thank you for all the new subscriptions, um, all, this, all the new subs. Um, and as always, love you guys. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for being patient with me. And I'll see you next time. Peace.